morning. I'm uh, actually on my way here to meet up with uh, one of you YouTubers. So uh, down here in um, out east of uh, Memphis, and had an opportunity to uh, meet one of you guys in person. So I'm excited about it. Look forward to meeting you, Chris. Following this cat in front of me. If I get murdered or don't show up. This guy from YouTube in front of me, you have to blame him. <laughs> He's a way cool guy. I had a great breakfast. Oh um, man, what a what a fascinating life life we have. Very grateful for this. Amen. All right, I'm uh, here at this uh, shop here, and uh, man, this thing's pretty cool. So, gonna introduce you guys to one of the YouTube fans here, and and check out his digs, but I just, I'm gonna use this for thought of the day. And one of the things I wanted to just uh, say and think about is I'm just reflecting on um, just how cool this world is of relationships. And you just, uh, you never know who you're gonna meet or who you're gonna talk to or how they're gonna impact your life or whatnot. And a kind of funny little story is we're having breakfast here this morning. I'm pulling down the road and just thinking, oh man, God, I hope I'm not meeting some redneck hillbilly that's going to shoot me. <laughs> and this guy's telling me as I'm driving down the road, he's uh, praying to think about how he can bless my life. So uh, just think this is such a cool opportunity and just great conversation. Uh, just puts a, puts a joy in my heart to meet a, a really cool person. I mean, within minutes of talking, I was telling about my checklist speech, and he was just like, oh, I've read that book, I've done these leadership roles. And I mean, just a serious connection into... Uh, uh, mechanics and to uh, quality in life and faith and uh, man this is like Zen for the Millennium it's just way cool so let's check out his place here it's pretty stinking cool the shop is bigger than the house that's a pretty good start let's see I'm gonna give him a little gift too. give him a little bit of Sioux City check this out my buddy Chad looks over at Palmer candy so this Kind of blows my mind. Chris, hey. how you doing? Doing well. Hey man, before I forget, I got a gift for you from Sioux City. Oh really? We got Palmer candy. These are twin beings. I'd steal a couple out of my aunt's stash oh, okay. for her birthday, but you gotta try that. That's a Sioux City, Sioux City candy right there. Really? <laughs> cool. Excellent. Well, Want to introduce cool. yourself? Yeah, I'm Chris K. Wine. I'm retired from FedEx. Was with. FedEx for 35 years. The last thing I was doing was buying jet fuel worldwide. And I had 35 years of time and it was time to retire, so I left the corporate world behind. No more emails, no more presentations, <laughs> no more meetings. And so I got to come out here and build my dream shop and decorate it like I wanted to. It's a mess, but it's my mess and I love it. Can you so, give us a quick tour? Yeah. Yeah. All right, starting up here, this is kind of my my old bike. On the left is my Harley, which is what uh, I still have. Got that new in 2001. On the right is my old Z1900 Kawasaki nice. that I built. And coming around this way, I just, there's my desk where I do all my part searching and ordering. There's my video monitor where I watch you guys at the at the tech center there teach me how to do things that's my I'm real so proud this is of what you this is where you caught my attention so Chris here reached out to me uh, through email a lot of people do take advantage of the fact they have the the email and contact on there and I, I, I can't get to all of them I mean it's gotten a little bit overwhelming but what really caught my attention was he had said, uh, you know, he watched the videos and wanted to, uh, you know, help out or see what that looked like. And I, I just was like, what? You know, most people just take and they don't say thank you. And, and, uh, and, and recently there's been a lot more thank you. So I really appreciate that. But um, it was just, he talked about the shop and how him and his buddies almost hold lessons out here on the big screen. So I can't believe that I'm 837 miles from Sioux City right now. I'm in, is it Moscow? Moscow. Moscow, 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 Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, and I am in their classroom, and I'm super excited about this. And any way that my videos help, I love it. Uh, any motorcyclist has to know who Malcolm Smith is. It's required, and if you don't know, <laughs> then it's it's definitely you go get the movie on any Sunday, and you watch it on any Sunday. And that is an autographed copy. <laughs> 
Way cool. Got my brand new BMW on the left here. This is, uh, it's got one mile on it. <laughs> and I'm one of those guys that wants to have it all ready before I do anything. So I'm putting all the adventure gear on it. Wow. It's really weird hearing my voice behind me. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got to be, yeah. <laughs> That's and it's crazy. so cool because, yeah, uh, I mean, everybody sits around out, out here and I'll be standing here or we'll be doing something and I'll be, you know, working on a bike or something and up here's... I noticed two things that really stood out to me on your workbench here. Number one, the snap-on digital uh, torque wrench. Yep. Big fan of that. Yeah. But noticing that you're doing electrical work, I, oh man, this just tickles my heart here to see that you have dielectric grease out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's some good stuff. I yeah. bet there's Loctite around here somewhere. Oh, right here. Here we go. Every mechanic must know these things. Yes. Torque wrenches, Loctite, and dielectric grease. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Good job. So, yeah. Um, then, uh, had some other, God, look at the, just the signage and stuff in here. So cool. You said quite a bit of this came from Barber? Yes. Cool. Over here are my, my parts cabinets. And since I love electrical, this, these are all my connectors. So you guys are even doing some tires in here. I saw the balancer over yeah. there. Yeah. You know, uh, that's my favorite way to balance on gravity. Yeah. Gravity doesn't lie. That's right. My race bikes, that's what we always did. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I like to do is I like to take a gravity balancer and use it to test the dynamic one. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're matching, then I could trust the computer, the electronics, and the right. uh, and the dynamic one. Yeah. So. Well, that no more changer has. This is a lift out of Europe. It is called uh, the. It's looking Big super Blue handy. Easy riser, and so what it does. Oops, excuse sneak me. Button. So with this thing, you can take it any height you want. That's you can great. You get a wheels. really good working height, too. Yeah. Go the gear. Yeah, all the gear. You guys got helmet law here? Yes, we do. We do too. Big on safety. We always wear our, all the gear. Well, I'm curious. How'd you find the YouTube channel, you said? just. Well, many times when we're trying to do something here, we're trying to figure out how does the what's the best way to approach it and how do you you know what are the steps and i'm big on doing things in the proper order so when i am trying to learn something i go to youtube like millions of other people do and i just do a search and i did a search and i found shane's youtube channel and from that i started watching and i said well this is a bunch of good stuff and basically realizing that you're teaching this as a class i said well i'm going to subscribe to this and from that point on once i i'm one of those people that when i find something good i tell everybody so all my buddies started coming over and and i'd say hey watch this and so we'd put it up on the screen um, what do you what do you think draws you to the channel so much being able to see what's being done and have it explained as to i mean it's one thing for, you know, insert, you know, tab B into slot A, mm -hmm. that doesn't tell you anything. That just means you did it. What I like is knowing why I'm doing it. Take something apart correctly, how to keep everything together correctly, how to reassemble it correctly, and what other types of things like lubricants to use when you're uh, installing Loctite, different kinds of Loctites. I'm big on Torquing to the proper specification, and those are those are things that, as just a kind of a, you know, not a mechanic for a trade that most you know a lot of guys just don't do that stuff. But right. I've always been more towards the, if this is how the book says to do it, do it this way. Those people are smart; they made the motorcycle <coughs> in the first place. All right, check this out. Chris literally, it can even make this stuff up. He has his own checklist for all the things he plans to do to this motorcycle. And then show me your bag again, how you're keeping track of yours. This is my bag, this is the center panel. These are the fasteners that come out uh, and keep them all together for reassembly. I mean, how important are those dowels that they get in the right, the, right. The right thickness and the right place? Yeah. This bolt's obviously longer than right. those, yeah. so critical. Yeah. All right, we're gonna kinda 
you know, wrap this up, but Chris is making me laugh again because look what he pulls out. <laughs> so I want to say to all you guys and girls at the Western Iowa Tech Community College that there are a lot of people that are out here watching Shane and watching how Shane is teaching. You guys and gals have a really neat um, opportunity in life to go out and affect people and you don't think of it right now. Now I'm older and I've seen, I look backwards and I look back at the opportunities and the things that I've learned across time and what you guys are learning and what Shane's teaching you right now are life lessons. You may not be thinking about it like that, but you're learning life lessons that you'll use for all of your life. So you're not wasting your time. We really enjoy your videos. Thanks, Shane. Awesome. Great to meet you. Yeah. The Honda Common Service Manual. And oh, that just cracks me up because how much do we talk about this stuff? This is the stuff everybody needs to know. And that's that playlist yeah. every mechanic should know. Right. Guys, what's cool about this, and I look around a shop like this, you know, you got a car lift, you got ATVs, you got mopeds, you got power switch, you get all these different bikes. It doesn't matter if it's car, truck, whatever. You know that I love teaching passionate, you know, uh, skills that relate to any type of mechanics and that how much of it all relates together. Uh, what an awesome opportunity to, to meet a YouTube subscriber. What's your YouTube name? Yeah, CRK1. No, but if you I see, see uh, comments, what we're noticing is we're, we're finding a community of like-minded people and right. we're trying to get more of those people together. I'm starting up a new YouTube channel called You're Not a Robot, and that's where I'm going to do a lot more about <clears throat> that message I carry around about my mom's healthcare story and about the changes we need to make. And, and yesterday when I finished up my speech with the state, I ultimately ended on this is that if we're making decisions that affect people's you know safety or their well-being or their financial or you know any any of those we really need to be accountable to what we touch and uh, how we lead people that also make those decisions that impact lives and we both seem, seem to be a fan of checklists right and so with uh, with that in mind uh, I'll end the way I did yesterday and that's go uh, make uh, make your life great uh, change other people's lives pass on everything you know gift other people and maybe just do it one check at a time well I'm off to the rest of my journey I look forward to meeting more subscribers in the future as I love to travel so uh, reach out to me sometime we'll see if it'll uh, work out I'd love you to keep commenting keep being part of something great and once again uh, to Chris uh, for the welcome invitation to uh, just see such a cool place and how uh, how this channel is impacting people from uh, your area Make it great. Keep on wrenching.